Hi you guys, welcome to Audrey's Reading Area. Alexa, what time is Audrey's Reading Area? Hmm, I don't know that one. Alexa, what time is Audrey's Reading Area? Audrey reads in her area at five o'clock p.m. All right, all right, all right. Thank you guys so much for joining me here at Audrey's Reading Area. Appreciate you guys waiting for me. I was a mentor and I, I got out late today mentoring for a summer camp. So, but I'm still here for you. Now, today is Inspirational Friday, Inspirational Friday. I have a very special book of poems written by my friend's father, W. Henry Eccleston. W. Henry Eccleston. Red Fields, Red Fields of Dreams. The creator speaks through poetry. Now, I, there's a lot to say about this guy if you Google his name. He grew up with Bob Marley. I didn't even know that. Uh, when I spoke with him and he gave me this book, he grew up with Bob Marley. He met Bob Marley when he was 11 years old. Bob Marley was 14 in Trenchtown. Oh yeah, look him up. He, uh, he is an ambassador, an ambassador in Jamaica, but he lives here now from Brooklyn. He is also an artist, W. Henry Eccleston. And this is one of his paintings. This is another one of his paintings. He painted a picture of his friend, Bob Marley. That's right. So shout out to my friend's father. I'm gonna call him dad now, Pops. Uh, w. Henry Eccleston. Redfield of Dreams, the creator speaks through poetry. Now, um, there's a couple of poems that I want to read to you guys. Uh, one of them, or two of them, two of them are called Missing You. Missing You. For private reasons, I'm going to read both Missing You. Moments pass while I live my life, filling each second with virtues come my way, stacking the minutes, multiplying into days, seven days and counting. Oh, how the moments swiftly passed, loaded with things to do that I have done. And yet, though quite accomplished, no guilt trip rests on me. For I have done my what things to do successfully, I'm somehow feeling empty deep inside without you being here. If you were my moments of stockpiling things to do, your presence would be among the moments, seconds, and in my every day while these two weeks have passed, while these five years have passed. Missing you, moments pass, while I live my life, filling each second with virtues, stacking minutes, multiplying into days, seven days and counting. Oh, how the moments swiftly fly away. Without you being here, I'm empty deep inside. If you were numbered among things to be done, your happiness would be my priority in my every day, appreciation of your virtue then. Wow. W. Henry Eccleston, missing you, yes. And then, oh, I lost the pages. I'm gonna find it. There is, there's a couple of uh, poems that are so inspirational and I am going to find it. In the meantime, how are you all doing today? If I can't find the one that I was looking for, I'm going to read Divine Mentor. You guys should look up his book and purchase this book of poems. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful stuff. Not With My Eyes. That's one of the ones I was saving for you. Not With My Eyes. Listen up, listen to this. Not with my eyes, 
I gaze at you, filling my heart with content. Your perfume I smell, knowing it is only in my head. My heart leaps for joy whenever I think of your name. Though you are miles away, distance makes no difference. Having the need, I am with you. While in body, you are not near. Your image in my thought palace in purity on my mind's screen does bring joys, content. Wow, that's called not with my eyes. Yes, W. Henry Eccleston. Wow, so I'm gonna read one more to you. Um, there's so many uh, beautiful, beautiful poems in here. And um, cannot quite find it because my bookmarks uh, fell out. So I'll have them ready for you the next time. But there is Playgrounds of Souls. There is Purpose. I'm going to read Purpose as my last poem. It's called Purpose. This is not the one I planned for, but this is a good one one of the good ones, one of the many good ones that W. Henry Eccleston has, has written. Purpose. Though harsh it may be, purpose to fulfill a God of love equates a God of dislike. Notwithstanding neutrality, neutrality in this world of greatest opposites, darkness to a twilight night, morning, noon and evening light at times when i am awake sleep will find me so opposed to reasoning fathoms unknown but then in time i will know when i fulfill my desired course if this my destined role purpose then my will fulfilled mission that is complete at will captured a beginning at my end. How beautiful is that? Purpose. That is just so beautiful. These poems are so beautiful. Like, I really want to read one more. Um, there was one in here that he wrote about Bob Marley, his friend. I'm going to save that. I'm going to read one more, and it's called Divine Mentor. Divine Mentor. In this corporate world, I stand casing the span of time, looking to my divine mentor, having placed my life in his care, being tailor-made by him to custom fit my ways, fashioned to the precepts, precepts of his will, design, with, design me with stamina. There are many more mountains to climb, valleys, streams, and rivers to cross, and cold weathers to endure. Trials mounting, I, being dissolved, create within the light and sound, adjusting to new resolve. Cause cause has placed me here. I am in it, the divine spear. Wow, 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 wow. Red field of dreams. The Creator Speaks Through Poetry, W. Henry Eccleston, spelled E-C-C-L-E-S-T-O-N. Please, 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 you guys, look for this book and purchase this book. This book of poems is, is so inspirational, so heartfelt. Yes, I had to read it for you guys today on this Inspirational Friday. But thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being here for me and all this love and support. I will see you again on Monday. Thank you, Mom, for being here. You're always here for me. My mom and her name is Bev. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Shout out to W. Henry Eccleston. Thank you, thank you, thank you for giving me this book. This book. And I, yes, I, as I promised, I read it. Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you for my friend Susan, who, um, yes, who's this is her father, yes. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Susan, for bringing your father here and letting me speak to him and spend some time with him and learning about him. Thank you, thank you, thank you to you too. Um, once again, 
Shout out to my cousin Ellie and my girl Victoria for sharing my videos every day. Mwah. Much love. I love and appreciate you guys. And I will see you on Monday live at 5. That's L-I-V-E. Live at 5. L-I-V-E. Live at 5 on Monday. Yes, I will see you on Monday.